Okay, so here's an update on the Avenger. Um, it's all coming together pretty well. Um, <clears throat> I'm just starting to put kind of this marbling effect all over it. Um, this is kind of the end result here that I'm coming up with back here. Um, I really like the way I've repatched some of this right over in here. Uh, redid it. It's supposed to come out more like a patch, I guess, on it. But um, it was kind of a spot where I think some oil somehow got on it. So I started redoing it like it was a patch, but I decided to just kind of marble it in, turn it a little different color. Just like, you know, it would be done on, you know, on the Avengers I've seen in action. That green still looks unbelievably bright under this LED light. Yeah, it's honest to God, I, I swear. Um, let's see if I can. This light really makes it all stand out quite a bit. But anyway, so here's my interior. Here's what I've been doing. Got everything together. I'm putting my canopies together right here. I'm doing the same marbling effect on those. I just hope I can tie all of this in real well. So what I'm using here is I'm using, um, I'm laying down some XF9 whole red first. Then I switch to this MRP. Now that has had a little accident, but it's eggplant dark gray, MRP 205. That does a really nice job on there. That SU 34 color. And then I come back with MRP tire rubber. You can see this doesn't, it's not black, kind of a dark grayish, almost, you can almost compare it. Sometimes I get glimpses of the eggplant in there, like this right here, sometimes. A little gray, a little muted. <clears throat> that with the whole red, when you lay down the sea blue, because the sea blue is just, it's obnoxious. It really is an obnoxious color. Um, and MRP has, you can see this has a little bit of green in there. I tried putting some NATO green down on it, but I did not like the effects of it. Um, NATO green underneath that starts turning into turquoise. You get mad, you start putting more sea blue trying to cover it up on there. And um, it just turns this gaudy bright blue. Um, I think this is a lot better. <clears throat> Look right here for that, for um, the uh, sea blue done at the end of the war. And, and with the black basing, it really turns it, makes it look pretty nice. Uh, it kind of looks like a weathered, worn ship, you know? Um, and so this back here, I've also done the wings as well. But this right here, um, it's done a really good job. But I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that chromate up there. That zinc chromate green might be kind of stupid to leave in there. But um, let me just go ahead and leave it. I mean, a lot of times they'd spray right over into the nooks and crannies too. You know, just about like that right there. Just kind of blend it in. But anyway, when you come in with the sea blue and you'll see, you can see the difference it makes between right here on the tail. It just kind of ties everything together and makes it real nice and blotchy. And when I, when I get done with this, I'm going to go over some parts with matte varnish and we're going to go through some gloss and I'm just going to kind of do some sponging on it so it gets variations with the, um, kind of like what I'm doing here, but it's going to get more of a, hopefully it'll turn out more of a realistic, you know, where the gloss wears down and just kind of gets into a matte when it gets to the bottom of the paint jug. But anyway, so this is basically my, my base I'm doing. <clears throat> now the wings I've done. So bear with me. The wings look right here. Now those are pretty blue. And I'm going to have to make sure that I painted those in. I'm going to have to make sure that these wings tie into everything as well. Uh, anyhow, that's what I'm looking at. These wing joints suck. So I have painted different variations. I think I took some insignia blue from there and laid it down in some varied patterns as well. So I think did a really nice job on it. 
So it's, you know, it's uneven. It's got, there's what the NATO green did to it. You see, it's almost somewhat a, it does a turquoise almost, if I can get it to focus here. See that? Which is, you know, probably okay in some circumstances, but if you, if you look at pictures, it just didn't wear like that. So I may go in and tune that up a little bit, but this right here is looking, it's like a real hand paint job. Yeah, anyway, but it's coming along pretty well. That's what I've got so far. I don't know if I, I showed the torpedo last time. The engine, God, that's gaudy. If it really, whew, I'd have to tone those, tone those pipes down by far. I like what the, uh, Look at the torpedo came out, the warhead and everything. But anyway, so that's about it. That's my update. Uh, just a little short one. Um, hopefully, I'll get this thing all together and it'll start looking like something decent. Oh, gosh. But I love that variation I've gotten. So I have to tune up some of that stuff right there. See the... I'm just not looking for that light green under there although it I mean I guess it kind of looks like worn down primer worn down to the chromate primer underneath but anyway uh, I've got a lot more extras I've got to do it's just kind of overall paint job of it so anyway that's my update see you guys later